Hello YouTube, this is Ian with the Portsmouth Armory channel and if you have an 84 or an 88 trapdoor it has the Buffington rear sight and if you shot it you'll know that it hits about 6 inches high at 50 yards. Also something else you might notice unless you have uh, really good eyes is that the front sight blade can be a little hard to focus on. Because, and the reason for that is well, it's small and these were made for uh, younger people with better eyes than, uh, than most of us. So, we're going to crack that. And if you go to uh, do a search for Trapdoor Galore or www.trapdoors.com and get on his website, he sells parts. And one of the parts he sells is a tall front sight. And it's hard for you to see that, but I'll take some stills of it. So we're going to take off the original front sight blade and we're going to replace it with this. Now this one's a little thicker in dimensions so when I get the front sight blade off we're going to take some measurements and I will uh, we'll figure out where, where we need to take metal off of. And when you order any parts from, from this guy he'll uh, send you the invoice of course and you get a business card and a little pen. I really like these pens. And uh, about this too, the fellow who owns this company, I guess he just died a couple of days ago. So we've just lost a great resource. I think his son is going to continue the business for a little bit, but I believe he is looking for someone to sell the business to. But anyways, uh, you're going to need a few tools for this. Uh, if you happen to have a Wheeler Engineering punch set, it'll be the smallest punch. And that fits these hole and this pretty good. I mean, it's pretty much the perfect fit for that. You don't want, obviously, you don't want to go any bigger. If you don't have a Wheeler Engineering punch, you can, I'll measure this one. It needs to be around, well, this one is exactly 60, or sorry, 58 thousandths. You can see the diameter of that is 58 thousandths. You don't want to punch any, any bigger than that. And then you drift it, I believe, it's, uh, if you're looking down the sights, I believe you'd want to start on the left, on this side, and work it out to the right. And that's, orientation would be looking down the sights here. When you hammer one of these out, you just, you don't want to let the, you need to rest the block on something. We're going to rest it on this piece of wood here, that way we're not beating on the Brace. We're not send. Uh, we're not gonna beat the block off. Uh, that works. So we're gonna change the camera angle around. I'm gonna just tap lightly, tap that pin right out of it, right out. So. All right. As you can see, I've already removed the hood. Taking the liberty. This is the uh, the replacement sight. You can see it's quite a bit taller than the original sight. Well, like I said, we'll take some measurements for height. Uh, factor and how many inches we want to come up. Probably cut this thing off somewhere in here. Somewhere right in here, somewhere. And then uh, we're get it where it'll fit in the blunt in the block. Then we'll take it out to the range, shoot it, and file on it until we get it where we want it. So I've already got the uh, pin started. So I take my little punch here. I'm trying to do this wherever you can get every all of it. I'm just going to gently tap it out. There we go. Now I can push it out the rest of the way. See if the yep. There it fell out. There's the pin. Take that out. Gently, gently tap it out. And there we have it. I'll take some measurements of that and uh, see what we gotta do. Okay, so we got this. If you notice this pin, this pin is pretty small. Now, when we go to put it back in, we're going to have to measure it because one side is 60 thousandths and one side is 61 thousandths. So, and we can go in the small side, obviously, we'll go in first. 
So we're going to measure the base of the original blade. This is the portion that goes into the block. That measures 55 thousandths. Now we're going to measure the base of the reproduction site. That is 53 thousandths. So, because of that, this thing will slide in there pretty easily. Whereas the other one is a very snug fit. It actually kind of wobbles a little bit, and I don't really care for that. So, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peen this site and remove and move some material to make it a snug fit. Take my center punch here and just peen it. I should probably I have to go downstairs and do this on the vise. But you get the idea. If you do that, we'll move material around. So I'm going to go paint this on my vise downstairs and I will be back. Alright, the next step, and you can do this before you paint it actually, I guess. I want to measure the distance from the hole it's in the, the bottom of the hole in the original front sight to the bottom of the actual blade so at that measurement we've got about 23 and a half thousandths 23, 23 and a half thousandths somewhere in there so when we measure this one it's 35, 34 thousand. So we know that this is going to be a little taller. So we got to get our file out. And see, you want to sneak up on this. Just keep measuring it until you get it to the same depth as your original. Let's measure this. Taking off a little bit at a time. That's all right. Alright, so I've uh, got this down to 29 thousandths, whereas this one, if you remember, was 23 and a half, 24, 23, somewhere in there. So when I got it to there, I went ahead and put that in there, and since I already painted it, I had to kind of hammer it in there, so maybe before you paint it, you should do this part of it, but anyways, I think I got it pretty close. I pushed it in there as far as I could, and I can see through the holes pretty good, so I'm going to leave it like this for now. Hopefully it won't take any more off of it. But, now I need to get the this width here the same as it is on this because if it's not, this hood will not fit on it. So before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it off. I'm going to put it in my vise. I've got a cutting wheel on my uh, Dremel tool. So this site is. 274 thousandths tall. So we're going to go taller than that. Let's say, uh, let's see what is this. anyways, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay that side on there on the blank. And then we'll describe a line and we're going to cut it off. Up here will be plenty. That's pretty much cutting that front side in half. So roughly that's going to be about 120 thousandths on top of it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this and I'll come back to you. Alright YouTube, here's our, our new site. Right here, and uh, we'll magnetize. There's our old site. This site now is 155 thousandths of an inch taller than this one. And like I remember, if you remember me, I said that uh, the widths had to be pretty close to the same. At least this has to be the width has to be less on this one than it does on this one for the hood to fit. Well, I took the measurement from the center of the hole over on the original one and made the new one to match. And then I did the same for the other side. I took the hole, measured that distance, that gap right there, and made that one the same. So now these are pretty much 
This one's just a hair smaller than this one, so I know it'll fit. Now, like I said, this one is 155 thousandths taller than this one. If you do the math, which would be you take the sight radius, measure the front sight to the back sight, and this one's about 27 and a half, 27.58, if I rounded it to half. And then in my case, I'm doing 50 yards. So that in inches is 1800. So I take 1,800 into 15 or vice versa, 1,800 into 27 and a half, something like that. But it comes up to 15, right around 15 thousandths, 15, 1.0152. So that's how many thousandths I needed to move to make the impact one inch. What I'm trying to say is for every 15 thousandths of rise on this site, will equate to one inch at 50 yards. So being that this is 155,007 inch taller, it should strike 10 inches higher on the target than this one would when you aim it at the same spot. So I think if I remember correctly this one hits around 6 inches high so this should hit 4 inches low which may be good if I put the sight right on 200 so we're going to see if this will fit with the hood and everything and if it does I want to look through the rear sight and not see any of the hood just see the tip of that front blade so I'm going to reinstall this and then I'm going to see what it looks like with the hood on it I'm trying to do this and look at the camera at the same time I'm going to slide that blade in there see if I can get it in there it's a little snug so I'll just tap it in with my hammer. I mean just tap it. Tap, 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 tap. Until it looks like the holes are lining up. Should be using a brass hammer for this, but I don't could not find it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. This little punch will put it in first. Since it is smaller, it will slide through that hole. It's smaller than the pin we're using. So we'll try to get it working just good. It's right here. I'm just doing this real gentle. It's not going. So I'm going to have to do this off camera. So I'll come back to you. Alright, we got it in there. I did have to go back and get, or take some more metal off the bottom. I mean, like I said, it was a little taller, but I thought it would work, but it didn't. So I ended up taking, taking the metal off I needed. Uh, and if you remember, I told you that one side of that pin was bigger than the other. Just by a thousandth. But, uh, so, when you go to reinsert the pin, put the smaller end in first, of course. What I did is I used this punch to line it up. Then I put the pin in and used this brass hit it, drifted it in there. I'm going to put the hood on it and we're going to see what it looks like. Alright, as you can see the hood fits. Now uh, it does interfere when I'm looking through the rear sight. I can see the hood through the rear sight. So before I uh, file anything though, I'm going to go to the range and shoot it. I'll take the hood off and see where it's hitting. And if it looks like I have plenty of rim, I will file some down. Like I said, it should hit 10 inches higher than it was. So I I can afford to lose four inches, which is about sixty thousandths, give or take, off that side, and that might be enough to where we can shoot it with the hood on and let it hit where we want it to. Otherwise, I'll just take the hood off whenever I shoot it, and it's just no big deal either. Because that, you look, our uh, when we painted it, that pin was also a very tight fit, so that front side is uh, it's solid. Slide that right off. As you can see, that sight—it's 
doesn't budge. I mean, it's, it's on there real good. Good and tight, as they say. So, uh, we're going to take her out to the range here in a couple days, get it zeroed, and uh, go from there.